Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime. My name is Jake and today we are going to look at the subreddit r slash entitled parents where people tell us their stories of crazy mums and dads who think they're entitled just because they have kids. If you're new around here, please do hit subscribe down below so that you never miss out on another video. But for now, let's sit back, relax and enjoy some Reddit stories. Entitled mother almost gets me arrested because I wouldn't go to her daughter's sweet 16. A bit of context, I know the girl, she's one of those kids, the kind that feels entitled to themselves and gossips about everyone. My friend group is mostly the subject of these, however, I've managed to keep her away. However, then she has the smart idea to invite everyone in her classes to her sweet 16. And lo, I happen to be in a few of her classes and she gave an invite. I had better things to do, my friends felt the same. Most still did go because their crushes were there or because of the goodies. Not me. Little did I know, her mother works for the PTA and apparently keeps track of the invites with a list and I'm guessing was able to track me through the school system. I was home with my siblings that night, parents were out everything lined up perfectly. This is how that encounter went. At first, it was a knocking at the door. I don't answer doors unless I get informed someone is arriving, so I just waited quietly for the person to go. It keeps going for 20 minutes. In case it's a robbery, I told my siblings to hide and grabbed a bat in case. Then I made the biggest mistake by opening it. Keep in mind, I don't remember every detail, so bear with me if they sound robotic. Me, with a bat behind my back. Hello? Who are you? I'm Blank's mother. Are your parents home? I lie for obvious reasons, as I'm still not sure who exactly she is. Yes, my father is in bed. He told me to get the door. Took an awful while. He didn't notice it until now. Well, can I come in? I want to talk to him. I'm sorry, I can't just let you in the house. My heart was pounding out of its chest with fear. Oh, well, can I talk to you, young man? Oh, what are you even here for? Well, you know my daughter, right? Well, she's having her sweet 16, and I noticed that some of the people didn't show up. So, I'm going around and collecting them. I hope you didn't forget. Me, heart now slowing down, and I drop the bat. Oh, well, I don't really want to go. Why not? There's all sorts of fun things. And my daughter is celebrating her birthday. I don't really know your daughter. I was only invited because I share a class with her. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go. Nonsense. You were on the list. That means you're friends with her. So, don't you want to come? I'm sorry. Parties just aren't my thing. Which was a complete lie because I love parties when it's mostly people I actually know. So, you just want to sit on your butt all night instead of celebrating my daughter's birthday? Yes, thanks for understanding. Now, please go away. You spoiled brat, where is your father? I'm sure he would respect my opinion and not the mother of someone I hardly know. Get off our lawn. You probably just like my daughter and don't want to go because you'll be embarrassed around her. What? Lady, you're confusing me. I don't like like your daughter, but I don't hate her. I just don't want to go. Suit yourself, fatty. I'm a bit chubby, so I took this a bit personally. She was clearly trying to dirt on me with petty insults to make me feel bad about not going. I don't. So that happened. I watch her leave from the window after I shut the door. I tell siblings to come out and I call my parents to let them know. They're upset I answered the door, but proud that I dealt with it. So they didn't panic all too much. So it was normal until two hours later, when I heard sirens. 
I thought it was something else until I heard a knock on the door and a voice yelling at me to come out. I tell siblings to hide and open it, knowing who it was. About six police cars and the police were armed. I tell the siblings to come out because it would look bad if they searched the house to find them. I step outside, hands in the air, terrified. But once they saw me, they lowered the pieces, seeing I was unarmed and just a teen in sweatpants. They questioned me. This lady had told them I abused her daughter, physically and sexually, and that when she came to my house, I chased her away with a knife. She had also told them I was older than I was, and she heard kids crying behind me which may have been true because of my siblings. So I told them my story, including the lies I told the lady to protect myself. And as I was doing so, my parents show up to save the day because we had security cameras. I was off the hook, thank God. And all the lady could do was argue with my parents and police. The police actually went over to the party to see if it was safe. And turns out, almost everyone there had alcohol and vapes. So they brought everyone who was drinking and vaping to the station, giving a warning to those who didn't, but were still there. The lady was also questioned about the fact that she allowed alcohol. I don't know what happened to her, and no, I'm not sure if she had a husband. If so, sorry to him. After that, for a while, the party shutdown was all everyone could talk about, and when I told them why it exactly happened, all of a sudden, I was some hero or something. I didn't care. All I wished was that I didn't open that stupid door. Anyway, thank you for reading my obscenely long entitled parent encounter. It really sucked. If it's real, that would be a pretty cool story, but I don't think police would show up with six cars armed to the teeth and, you know, just over one allegation. So it might have been a bit exaggerated, but still. I am the manager. So this happened a couple of weeks ago. This kid and his mother came into the cinema I work in. We get a few entitled parents now and again, but this one was when I was put in charge as manager for that shift. I'm assistant manager, and the actual manager wasn't in for the day. It was late at night, about 10.45, and we have a policy that if a film goes past midnight, we won't be able to let anyone under 18 in. We make this clear on our website, and there are signs at the entrance. So entitled mother and innocent kid come in and walk over to the counter where I'm working. Two tickets to Spider-Man, please. Okay, sure. I turn to innocent kid. Can I see your ID, please? Um, why? Because we can't allow anyone under 18 to see this film as it runs past midnight. It does say this on the door as you walk in. Oh, okay, fair enough turns to entitled mother. We can just come back tomorrow. No, you are over 18. The kid was about 14. And we are going to watch this movie, and now we are going to watch it for free, because you are a terrible person. She didn't even say employee, she said person. Ma'am, I don't make the rules here, but like your son just said, you are always welcome to come back tomorrow. No, Get your manager. Mom, let's just go. Me, with a huge smirk on my face. Um, sure, I'll get him. I walk into the room behind the counter. It's where we keep the popcorn. Hey, man. Pretending to talk to a person. Someone wants to talk with you. I walk back out, still smirking. Me, in the most fake enthusiastic voice I can muster. Hi, I'm the manager. How may I help you? The innocent kid starts laughing. Hmm, let's go. She then left and I carried on doing my job. The next day, I found she went back in the morning and watched the film then. However, she was banned after being found with a camera in the screening, recording the film. 
I love how this woman was so much of a Karen when the guy said, oh, can I see your ID? She instantly was like, oh, you're a terrible person. We want to see it for free now. It's like, uh, I don't think it works that way. Entitled mother wants to make a game appear, makes cops appear instead. A little backstory about me. I worked at GameStop on and off for five years, so had to deal with a lot of entitled parents. And of course a lot of parents that knew nothing about how games work. This is a story that I will always remember. So I don't know how many of you guys are big Nintendo fans, but around the time Fire Emblem, Birthright and Conquest came out, there was a bit of an issue. Nintendo was releasing limited edition 3DSs, as well as limited editions of the game that came out with both titles, all in one cartridge. Nintendo rarely does special editions like that, so it was a very hot commodity item among collectors and Nintendo fans. However, similar to when Nintendo did the Majora's Mask Special Edition, they actually oversold, so a lot of people were getting their money refunded and their order cancelled. I understand people were upset about this, but at a retail level, there is nothing we can do. Story time. I'm working at the GameStop in my mall the day after Christmas, which is normally filled with a bunch of gift cards and returns. I'm expecting it to be a hectic day, but all in all not too bad, until roughly noon. I see this mum that's about the size of three of me, a dad and two kids, roughly 10 and 12. The mum comes in with a gift card and wanting to put money down on her Fire Emblem Special Edition. I woke in our computer system and tell her unfortunately Nintendo oversold the product and her order was cancelled, however she can still get her money back and our district manager even told us to give them roughly 10% off the game if they wanted to order the standard editions. Entitled mother slams her fist on the counter so loud that the store went dead quiet. Everyone in the store was staring. I ordered this game four months ago. I'm sorry ma'am, but unfortunately, Nintendo just oversold the product, it's nothing on our end. We can still order the regular edition, or if not, we can refund you your money. Entitled Mother just plummets to the floor in hysterical crying, screaming, it's not fair, it's not fair. And I am sitting here just trying not to laugh, and very confused while she, a roughly 40 year old 300 pound woman, is throwing a tantrum in the middle of a store. The dad picks her up, both confused, and grabs the kids and leaves. Until two hours later, she barges back into the store cots and line and demands a manager. Likely the woman she was talking with was the manager and she screams about how she called corporate and they say they're legally obligated to sell her the game. Again, it wasn't an issue of not wanting to sell it, it was an issue of there wasn't going to be enough to cover all the orders. She was not happy with the response, claims all of us are going to get fired and for good measure she knocks down a standing tower with a bunch of display cases on it. That was enough for security to get involved. During the confrontation, one of my co-workers went to the back and called security and caught her right as she was leaving the store. She was detained and my district manager was told about what was going on and came down. She was charged with disturbing the peace and damage of private property. Merry Christmas. For a split second, I was like, oh, the kid's gonna throw a tantrum because he doesn't get his game special edition. And then he was like, a full grown 300 pound woman. And I was like, no. <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.